Vedantu, welcome to another Sunday Fun Day DIY with Surabhima. If you are wondering what is ma'am going to teach us how to make tea? No, you are not because um, I don't know how to make tea. But yeah, what are we going to do today? Have you ever heard of milk turning into plastic? If you feel like Surabhima just made it up, no, you are wrong. So in the 1900s to late 1945, people actually used to, uh, you know, make plastic out of milk to make those decorative beads and the jewelry. So why don't we try making plastic using milk and very simple ingredients which can be found at home? Ready? Okay, then let's get started. So all you need for this simple experiment is milk. milk. That is obviously you have to eat it. Um, you can microwave it or boil it. So make sure that the milk is hot. It should be really hot. So um, please do it in a adult suppose and a strainer and heat resistant mug. That's all we need. So shall we? Okay. Okay. I have milk which is super hot and in a little mug I am gonna add some vinegar, few drops. This will be enough. It depends on the amount of milk you are taking. Just take in half more of milk and then you just have to dip it into this. Okay. And then keep stirring. Keep stirring. And you can see. So there is this curling of milk. As you have added the vinegar, you can add a little more if it is required. And then you have to stir it. There will be decrease in the pH. So there is formation of curling of milk. I hope you all can see here. So what we have done is we have taken hot milk and then have added little vinegar. There will be decrease in the pH, right? Yes. As you all can see using this trainer, I have removed excess of water. But now what I'll be doing is you need to take paper towels. I have spilled milk here and then just put it. So make sure to use the surface which then you need to just remove the excess of water. It's basically drying this. Water name will actually use me. It smells good as well. <laughs> we don't need it. It makes me different shapes when I sit in. Can you all see how soft it is? But very important thing is to Try it. Water may want to be. So this, this might take some five to ten minutes. This is dry as you all can see. So just keep this aside. I'm gonna take another paper towel. Now you need to knead it. So if you want to convert this into any shape, you can use mouths or like you know the cookie um, to make cookies. We use different mouths, right? You can use that as well. You can use your hand to make to give it any shape you like to. Now I'm confused what to make out of this. 
uh, before it gets right, you have to change it into a shape, whatever you need. And you can even add glitters or food colors if you want. So we take a little and let's see what can be done. So I have this kind of glittery thing. So let me add a little. Yes, if you are wondering, is this eyeshadow? It is. <laughs> it's just that I don't use it. So I can't use it to make some jewelries. So this will look good as we are adding some different colors. You can use food colors or glitters, whatever you have it at home, children. Okay, and then you can make it into a different shape. So without mold, I guess it would be a little difficult for me to give it a shape. But I'm going to just try. I have no idea what it is. If you have mounds, it will be really easy. I don't have any right now. So this is what I could make and you need to let it dry okay, for at least 48 hours so do not disturb it and we have some more which I can need. So kneading is very important here and then you can just give it any shape you like. So what exactly happened here? All we did was add a vinegar to hot milk. So adding vinegar, which is an acid, to the milk will lead to the decrease in the pH of milk that will lead to the curdling of milk. So there is a protein in milk which is called as casein. So this addition of acid and the decrease in the pH will lead to the unfolding of the casein and it will just reorganize itself into a thread formation. So once you dry it, so obviously you will have it in this way and you can just like uh, knead it and make a dough and using molds or uh, the cookie cutters you can just give it the shape you want so after drying it for almost 48 hours that is two days it will be hard but very very important thing which you have to keep in your mind is the dough is very important otherwise you cannot give it a shape you want so make sure uh, to try this simple experiment at home and um, if you have molds and cookie cutters you can just make some really cute uh, shapes out of this milk plastic which is called as casein plastic because even the Queen Mary of England would do super trees. What are we waiting for? Go back and try this experiment at home and let me know how was it or did you end up getting this shape? This is not bad. Huh? Thank you so much. If you like the experiment, make sure to leave the comment. And after trying, let me know what all did you make. Did you pay to get any shapes or did you get something pretty or cute out of this milk plastic? Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. Take care.